Hello, it's Howie from Solving Chaos. Today is October 7, middle of the day, and I'm going to show you what I would like to do with rolling a options contract uh, for Visa. So if you want to see what I'm doing with this, uh, watch the complete video. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This trading channel will be used to cover my options trading, stock market, and dividend investments. I will show you what I'm doing and explain the reason for what I'm doing. My end goal is to help more people learn that investing can be done by anyone. I believe that ordinary, everyday folk can achieve extraordinary results without taking on the extra risk. Enjoy this episode. All right, so let's begin. So I told you I want to row these five visa contracts that are expiring on the 23rd. There's 15 days left. Current market price is 20217. You see that? It's $23 away, or $21, I'm sorry, $20 away from my existing one. This was a remaining of an iron condor that I had open. So what should I do? So you can let it expire and when you do that, you collect the maximum profit on when you created this. But I don't want to do that. It's taking up buying power and there is some risk. Um, there's 15 days left. I would like to push it out. If you hit the close button, we can end this contract here for 22, 22 cents each. Okay? So that will cost me $115 to close. If you hit the row button, it changes some of the numbers. So if you can collect a nine cents credit, you see that? Which is what I don't want to do right now. I want to scratch this out a little bit. And let's see what will work. There's 41 cents there. So if you do that, you see this? It's 41 cents. I did that wrong, but you see the numbers. And I want to see what it's looked like if I push it out even a, f a week further out. Here it goes. 66 cents credit. And that would be $66, right? I have five contracts on that one. Whoops, that one didn't have the formula. There you go, which is really bad. She always use formulas. There you go. You see how minus the commissions. Okay. So, what's the risk? If I do something like this, the distance is still 20. You see how I have another one here and I pushed out a little bit further, it's 230. So maybe what I want to do is we'll roll it and we'll move it up just slightly. We'll move it up just slightly, here you go. Something like that. So we'll collect a smaller premium. We'll collect a smaller premium. Oh, okay, you know what I'll do? I'll push it up, but I'm gonna keep the width the same. Ooh, the problem is, you see this? It's going to be a $10 whiff. Okay, we can do that. I'm okay with that then. Okay, so let's do this. We're going to do this $45. So I'm going to move this. We're going to close this position, right, by rolling into this new position. 15 days, we're going to make it into a 36 days, and then I'm going to add this leg after. So keep an eye on this. It's no longer 66 on one side. Most likely we're going to collect anywhere from 45. You see this? So I'm going to sh shoot for a little bit higher. Let's shoot for 54 first. Good for, and then let's see what happens. Place order. Nope, those are my apples that I rolled earlier. Not 
that yet. Okay, we wanted to do that for a few seconds. And then now we're going to roll it down a little. 50 cents. Let's see, can we get it for 50? And let's see, let's see, let's see. Not yet, not yet. Hit the refresh. That did not work. We're going to just lower it down to 49 or 48. Let's just do 48. Let's just get this thing across. I pocket 229. And there you go. That looked good. That looked good. Everything went across. Okay, now we got that. Let me update my spreadsheet. I don't even remember what I use. I think I use. Okay, I'm back. So I did make a mistake. So let me just update it. You see the screen here. So let me just plug in the right data. So it is 225. So I did fix it. And it. In the insurance, I picked a really wide. 235 okay so now let's toss in the other side and so we're gonna create the put side and I'm gonna pick a distance that's a little bit safer maybe maybe something like this because the time frame is going to I can, so I can, this is way too conservative. 36 days, that's very far out. You see how wide that is? It's a, I mean, we can do something like that. Let's test this out. We'll, we'll t or maybe a 170. Let's do a 170. Let's see what that would look like. So it's a 55, 160, 170, maybe not. We'll, we'll play around with the numbers. So let's do a 170 to a 160 which is the same width as the other side. Change the date, we're using the 13. We need five of those, but you see the credit? So I collected 45 already, or did I collect 40? I don't remember, 48. And this is telling me I can get close to 47 on this side. So you see where the money is made? So by leaving one ex to let expire on his own, it didn't cost me a lot to close. And so it's a little bit more effective for me to just roll this. But I want to play around with the odds. So before I do anything, it's 30 away. You see the width. I want to try to keep it wider than these. These were pretty narrow. Uh, I don't want to take too much risk. So this looks pretty safe to me. It's a little bit higher than this one. But this one has more time. These have less time, so this one has really, okay. So I think I'm going to decide on doing the 160, 170. So the width is a 55 width. Here's the midpoint. The stock price is trading above the midpoint right now. It would have to travel $32 on the downside before I lose or $22 on the upside. And again, I own Visa shares, so I'm willing to create this where the midpoint is always left or lower than the current market price so that's what I'm gonna do so I like this let me put in the trade I need to put this back to five put this back to five to match the numbers over here you do a net credit now we went up to 50 let's try to grab 60 cents on this one which is another you see that so maybe you see how it's saying 60 so let's try it Let's see what we get. Can I grab another three hundred dollars? No, not yet, not yet. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Let's see. Can we grab it? I may have to lower it just a little bit. I may have to lower it to fifty-eight. Sometimes you can grab a higher price than the mid. Other times you cannot. So you just have to keep on lowering it. But I would be happy at the mid, which is 54. 
So let's do 56. And you guys see what I'm trying to do. In case your trades go through, why would you want to rip yourself off of a few dollars? And okay, the next one is it. So 55 will look like you'll it will go through for two hundred and seventy four dollars here we go place trade did it go through no nope, no nope, not yet we're running out of time the market is going to close so you see that I'm running against the time here you see you see I may have to do 54 oh look it's dropping it's dropping so let's try to get this in let's try to get this in which means I will complete my 54 And no, no, not yet, not yet. Oh, okay. Now, now I'm rushing. Now I have to lower it. That's fine. Let's just do 52. I don't want to keep on chasing this down. 52. Not yet. And there you go. That went across all clear you see that there okay it went across and you'll see it it's showing up in my active positions I'm gonna update my spreadsheet here so you can see what happened what just happened so this is now I close this so this is gone I'm gonna just delete this row I don't even remember if I got 40 I don't even remember what I got, but I'll fix the numbers. It was, it was, let's assume it was 45. I don't even remember. If you do that, that would be $93. And because I have five contracts, you see how much it, it's worth. Um, whoops, I broke, uh, I broke my dynamic. That's fine. I can fix all that. Did I just lose something? I don't even know. Okay. Anyway, so there you go. I completed Visa. I, I rolled it forward and I collected another 400 and, and whatever, 440 or something. You got to minus all the fees. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Have a profitable day.